the middle. Alright, yeah. No little blows. No fish. No gouges in the eyes. No pull of the hair. Fists up, throw down. And we are back here at Fight Underground. My name is Jim Amata, being joined by Fight Director Paul Atlas. And Paul, what a showdown of the monsters we have here. Bro Hemet squaring off against Sean Resnick, the man that Dash Bennett brought to Fight Underground specifically to oppose Big Bro Hemet. Yeah, and if you recall, as we tried to finish up the semifinals of Area 1, it was Sean Resnick distracting Brohemoth, costing him the loss to Justin Idol. Brohemoth demanded this match, and he has got it. Absolutely, this personal rivalry has become uh, very heated very quickly. There's two freight trains hitting each other. Resnick has that low center of gravity. For a very rare occasion, someone throwing stronger hands than Sean Resnick. Look out. Yeah, Resnick ducking out of the way and now nails him with that big forearm He uppercut. got him right under the chin. He boxed the chin. And a second. Look out. Bro's following him right out of that corner. Bro Heeman is out here to make a statement. But if he gets over aggressive, if he gets too emotional in there, that could cost him. Exactly. You've got to keep your emotions in check and concentrate on the task at hand. I know he's upset over that loss to Justin Idol because of, uh, of uh, Sean Resnick, but he's got to keep his eye on the ball here. And let's not forget Dash Bennett and Dean Radford, respect respectively, both at ringside here. And you know they, their reputations ride a lot with these draft picks. You oh, know? exactly. Dash. That's why. That's why I put them in the position I did. You know, the fight council is not just here to talk, be a bunch of talking heads on TV. They're here to 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 show their experience and what they can do with these young fighters. That's why it was assembled. Both Dean and Dash are heavyweight champions during their Pittsburgh careers around their time in Pittsburgh wrestling. They are putting, banking that reputation on both Resnick. And uh, Bro Hemoth here. Yeah, that is why, again, the Fight Council was assembled to create Fight Underground as the next big thing in indie wrestling and to bring the younger generation up. Here we go. Bro avoids the lariat and is able to elevate Resnick. It is a very rare opportunity that someone has the chance to take Resnick off his feet. Yeah, but it still wasn't enough to keep the keep the big man down. Straight shot right to the face and eyes. It doesn't matter how big you are, you can't train your eyes. No, and if you can't see, you can't fight. Man, Resnick just reminds me of a steamroller, man. Like he he is just brute force. Oh. There is zero finesse or technique with Resnick, but it works for him. Yeah, and he doesn't even try to hide that fact. He just comes right at you, and he'll smack you in the mouth with his fists, and in that case, his backside. He, this guy's a human bowling ball. He, he would just roll over opponents. Resnick measuring Brohemoth now. That may have been a mistake. He allowed Brohemoth to get back up to his feet. Bro just cut Resnick in half. Oh, when is the last spirit. time you saw someone do something like that to Sean Resnick? Oh, and Resnick catching him right in the middle of the back. That's what happens when you call out a move the way Bro Hemoth did. He gave Resnick the chance to know what was coming. And Resnick returned the favor with interest on that one. Back press. Yeah, but again, you've got to hook a man's leg. This matchup has been so physical, I'm not sure if Resnick had the wherewithal to hook the leg. You know, Dash has really told Resnick, this is your chance to redeem yourself. And certainly, if Resnick puts down Brohemoth, who was one of the early favorites of the Fight Underground project, I mean, to me, that speaks absolute volumes sure. for the potential of Sean Resnick to... to have a, a real resurgence in his career. I mean, let's face it, this matchup here is the guy who, who everybody says doesn't belong here versus the guy who claims he should be the number one man. Oh, God! Wow. Samoan drop, and I'm surprised the damn ring didn't implode. 
but I think I think Resnick hurt his own back on that move, trying to get up a guy the size of Brohemoth. He reached for that back immediately. Well, that was nearly 700 pounds to hit the canvas all at once. And I don't know how the hell bro, he was kicked out of it. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And you can hear in Radford's voice as he's rallying from ringside. Radford truly believes in the skills of bro, Hemoth. Yeah, bro, Hemoth got to get himself up off this canvas or he is in big trouble right now. Trying to fight his way up. Wait a minute, Resnick hesitating here, conversing with Dad. Not only could that be a mistake, it sure is a mistake. Oh, he just got his ear boxed. Oh my god, look, look at, at the power! Look, look at, at the strength! He got him! He got him with it! If that's not it, I don't know what is! And it it's is! Over. It is Brohemoth with the win over Sean Resnick getting a measure of revenge for costing him the Area 1 Finals. Two Godzillas went at it, and it is Brohemoth emerging victorious here in the fight underground. Tonight to fight underground, Bro Hemoth exacted a little bit of revenge on Sean Resnick. How does it feel to put Sean Resnick behind you now? I made a mistake once. That cost me area one. Mistakes were not to be made anymore. We don't tolerate that on Team Radford. I knew you could do it. Now we move forward. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, being joined now ringside by Dash Bennett and Sean Resnick. Now tonight, Sean Resnick lost this match after getting involved previously in one of Brohemoth's matches. Brohemoth getting his revenge on Sean Resnick. Where does Sean go from here, and where does Team Bennett go from here? You know, obviously, I'm disappointed in the loss. But in that loss, Sean Resnick showed that he belonged in Fight Underground. He showed that he could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the biggest and best in Fight Underground. I said he was going to give Brohemoth the fight of his life, and I'll be damned if he didn't do just that. Where Sean Resnick goes from here, he goes anywhere he damn well pleases because he earned that opportunity tonight. A tough fight, but again, a tough loss from Sean Resnick here tonight. We're looking forward to see what Sean Resnick can do here in Fight Underground.